Hello, my friends. I want to pop in um, and kind of talk a little bit more about something I was just sharing about over on Instagram. Hi, Russ. Do you want to say hi? This is Rusty, my 30 pound cat. His weight loss journey is not going very well. Anyways, um, so I have been really tired and very unexcited, just everything. And I decided to just kind of take my foot off the gas and to hold space for where I'm at. And I wanna talk about that in here because I think it's so important. I talk often about how this is not about being motivated. It is about making a promise to yourself and then collecting the momentum that comes from honoring the promise, doing the thing. And while sometimes you do have to push through and just kind of move past those obstacles and excuses, there's also a very valid moment where maybe you don't need to push through. So I wanted to kind of talk about that a bit because I think that it can sometimes create some shame if you're feeling like I just need to like do the thing. Okay, so both things can be true and you were the only one living your life. You were the author of your story. You were the only one in your particular circumstances and so you know what is true to you. You know that it, if you need to actually, yes, push through beyond your excuses and get uncomfortable and do the next right thing. Because let's be honest, if you have not been aligned on your journey, if you have a significant amount of weight that you're trying to surrender and lose, or you're just trying to shift something in your life, often it is uncomfortable. And it's not the first thing that we're excited to do every single day because motiv like motivation, being excited about it, it's fleeting. You can't bank on that. You have to have a why right? You have to have another reason why it matters. And so often I'm like, you know, yeah, you should kind of strong arm your way through. But I want to talk about that because that's not always the case. I strongly 100% believe that it's so critical and important that we all make our own unique promises to ourselves. You know what you need. It's not a one size fits all recipe. What I do isn't necessarily going to be the thing that works for you. And that's okay. That's not the purpose of this group. The purpose of this group is to inspire you to do the next right thing, to feel like you're not alone and to have tools and tips and access to things that can absolutely hundred percent change your entire freaking life. Not just your body, not just the number on the scale. So I was in this transition where I was like, okay, Marshall's gone now for like 90 days. So now I can like crank it into high gear and I could do this and I can do that. And I was feeling super overwhelmed and just really freaking fatigued and bone tired. And someone said to me, you know, sometimes when our partners leave, it doesn't mean that you have to continue even doing what you were doing while they were here. And while I know that, like it just hit me differently. I was like, I don't have to kick it into high gear. I don't have to add 40 new things to my plate. I can actually take a step back and do less because I'm the only one here and I'm having to make all the dinners and do all the things and be the taxi cab and the payer of all the bills, like all that extra burden and stress, right? So it's like, well, how do I do that? And this show up to my journey with excitement. And I don't know. I am in a season of unexcited and feeling very meh. So I decided that I'm going to take a moment, however long that feels right, maybe it's going to be a day or a week or a month or whatever, to continue to honor the promise that I've made to myself, but not to strong arm my way through. Okay, so you can make this apply to your own life by making a promise to yourself, whatever it needs to be. And it doesn't need to be, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. It doesn't have to be a ton of things. Like it can literally be one thing. I'm going to focus on my rest. I'm going to focus on my walking. I'm going to focus on listening to five minutes a day or journaling my gratitude, or I'm going to figure out a nutrition program because I know that I know that my nutrition is the area is my weakest link, right? So you can still find a way to hold space and to honor that promise to check the box every day and collect your micro wins without powering through or strong arming it or forcing yourself to do it. You don't, you won't always be motivated to do any of it. That's just real life. No matter what's happening in your life, outside of your bubble, but I believe we can give ourselves more margin and grace while still holding the promise. It's okay if your journey is not linear. Mine is definitely not definitely not linear. And you know, two weeks ago, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna basically do like a 75 hard without calling it that because I don't like all the pressure and stuff that comes with that. But I'm gonna do all these things 
and it's gonna feel really good. And then I started doing them and it didn't feel good. And it felt like a freaking anchor and it felt heavy and suffocating. And I'm like, whoa, it's just me over here. I can't do all this. So I'm still honoring the promise. Today that looked like I got on our morning Zoom, which you're all welcome to join. It's not a secret club, okay? It's not. 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's an open link. It's open to all of you. Somewhere it's pinned. I need to share it again. We got kind of messed up with our links recently. Um, but it's open to everyone. It's not, a, it's, there's not a secret handshake. It's, we've all become friends because we've showed up there and there's a seat at the table for you. And if you're like, that makes me uncomfortable. I don't want to work out with people looking at me or talking to me. You don't have to, you can say hi, you can just wave and mute. You don't even have to have your camera on, but for me, it's such great accountability and it makes me feel less alone. And this is something that really is important to me. Okay. So that's a tool to, to you, for you, from me. So I got on the morning Zoom, it was just me and Carol Ann, and I rolled out my yoga mat and I pushed play on yoga and I did approximately like 1.5 minutes. And then I was like, I don't like this. But I kept the promise to myself. I didn't strong arm my way through. I wasn't like, suck it up, buttercup, you're gonna do this. Like, it's just 20 minutes, you can do it. It's only 2% of your day. I didn't have any of that conversation. Instead, I was like, okay, you showed up, you got on Zoom, you checked the box. I didn't even put my yoga mat away. I just like was like, I'm done. And I got off of the, I got off bod and I went for a short little walk to the coffee shop. And I'm gonna count that as my win. The point is, I want you to start counting these things as your win. Sometimes we think it has to look a certain way or it needs to be really remarkable or super sparkly when in fact it doesn't. So often the biggest obstacle in our own way is our self-belief and it's keeping the promise to ourselves. It's honoring that promise because it's not always going to be easy. It's 100% not going to be easy, especially if this is something that's new to you or that you're coming back to after time away from, and that's okay. We need to give ourselves grace and margin, and that doesn't mean that you go, you, 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 you know, like I didn't go to the coffee shop and have like a giant salted caramel extra whipped cream sprinkles thing and a scone, right? Like I, you can do both. You can do both and still get momentum and still hold the promise to yourself and still be super proud, even if it doesn't look the way that you want it to. It doesn't, my, it, things aren't looking the way I want them to right now. And I could be disappointed and I could shame myself and I could be like, you need to hide this. You need to get your shit together because you're a coach and other people are looking to you. I have never, ever come in here into any of my spaces publicly and been like, look at me, I'm a role model. I have all my stuff together because I don't. I have literally built my business on being relatable and like a mom next door and it doesn't have to be perfect in order to be yours, in order for you to feel proud, in order for you to collect your wins. And while the next 90 days may not result in me having washboard abs <laughs> or reading 40 freaking books and like meditating so many hours, and that's okay. There's still victory to be had. There's still micro wins to be collected and compounded. There's still momentum to be gained by holding the space. So wherever you're at, if you're in this freaking epic, I'm just knocking out of the park, feeling super proud and aligned journey, or you were like, I am trying to dip my toe back in, but it feels really daunting. And I don't know if I can do this. In fact, I really don't think I can do this because I don't have a track record of honoring my promise to myself. Guess what? This is a perfect day for you to draw a line in the sand and be like, I'm going to adopt the same attitude Sarah has. The sum is better than none and done is better than perfect. And I am going to at least hold the space and honor the promise I've made to myself in whatever area that is. If it's getting your water in, or it's eating an extra vegetable, or it's watching some of the nutrition videos, or implementing your shake. Like, it's never an all or nothing journey. You're not gonna be kicked off of an island because you didn't check all the boxes. So give yourself a little bit of grace. Allow yourself to be a beginner. Like, I, I don't know why sometimes that's a hard lesson for us to like embody, that it's okay to be a beginner over and over and over again. It doesn't mean you failed. It doesn't mean you start over. There's no starting over in this. There is where you are today. That's all that matters, where you are today. And you can take a few, a few steps, a few actions, check a couple boxes, honor a few promises to yourself and, and be proud of that. Be like, I showed up the best that I could today because not every single day is gonna be the same hormonally as mothers with life. Like there's going to be obstacles and challenges 
And the whole point is that we show up the best we can every single day, not as a freaking perfect robot Barbie girl, but as ourselves, imperfect and messy and awesome and epic, right? So that's where I'm at. Um, I actually had a couple handfuls of potato chips and I just wrote it on my gut protocol tracking sheet. It's okay. Doesn't mean I've messed up. Doesn't mean I have to start over. Doesn't mean I'm only going to have broccoli and chicken for the rest of the day. Instead, I was like, all right, you didn't sleep last night and you're a tired eater. So doesn't mean I'm going to give myself like a free pass for the rest of the day to roll around and eat all the things. Instead, I'm just going to log it and I'm going to note it and I'm going to move on with life. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to go outside, right? You can still collect your wins. You can get momentum without powering through, without pushing yourself. There's a time and a place for that. And if you are in a legitimate season where you're like, I can't do that, you don't have to flush this all down the toilet. You don't have to wait until another season. You can still do what you can today and collect those wins and choose to be super proud. It's a, it's a, it's a mindset. It's a hard set. Okay. It doesn't look the way I want it to. And I could create shame and drama and stories in my head, or I could say, okay, how can I collect my micro wins? How can I hold space for those promises that are important to me? How can you do the same? Okay. So I'm cheering for you. I'm rooting for you. I'm about to go for a walk without my phone. What? I know. And I'm just going to look at the leaves and be super grateful for the wind in my face. That's all this is guys. Okay. It's just holding space, doing the next right thing, not forcing yourself to figure it all out and creating a story or a timeline, just doing the next right thing.